Hi, I'm dating coach Hayley Quinn, and in this short video, I'm going to be giving you five tips to approaching women on public transport. Da, da, da. Yes, is it ever okay to meet someone when you're on the tube, as we would say in London, the train or a bus? Funny enough, over the years, I've actually known plenty of men and women who have managed to strike up a date whilst they're on their commute to work. So whilst it might not be the most normal place to meet people, it certainly can happen. And of course, what we want to be really aware of is because probably someone doesn't get on their daily commute and look for a date, we want to make sure that you engage with people in a way that's really respectful, that you check out that she's really open to talking to you, that you, that you have her participation before taking any next steps. It would also be great to hear if there has been anyone who's had a blossoming romance that has been created from their commute to work. So if you have successfully met someone on public transport, please share in the comments below. It'd be great to hear how you went about it. My first tip for meeting women on public transport is just to be really aware of appearing friendly and approachable. If it's late at night, if the tube carriage is empty, if you're wearing a hoodie that's pulled up, all of these things could send a real signal of stranger danger to her. So instead, be conscious to remove sunglasses, take hats off, pull your hood down, um, make sure that there's plenty of other people around, Pretend, hopefully that it's daytime. So looking out for cues in the environment to make sure that she will feel safe if you begin an interaction with her. My second tip is before you actually start speaking to her, you want to have some kind of non-verbal signal exchange to check out and make sure that she's comfortable with you moving closer to her to begin that conversation. The obvious one is smiling and making eye contact. I bet if you're watching this video, you may even have memories of times where you've been smiling at a woman, she's been smiling back, the eye contact has been there, but no one's quite had the bravery to make the move. So what we wanna recreate here is the same kind of thing. You don't really want someone to be surprised by the fact that you've just gone over and started chatting to them. Instead, if you can warm that interaction up and check out whether she's comfortable talking to you ahead of time by having some kind of non-verbal signal exchange like eye contact and smile, or a little wave and smile and see if she waves back. That will help you to feel more comfortable that she's open to speaking. Then it's just gonna be a case of being brave enough to actually make the first move this time and move closer to her so you're able to talk. If she's sitting down, it's often also useful to also join her and sit down. You could say, is it okay if I sit here for a minute? So you can make it clear that you're not gonna hang out with her for the whole train journey if this gets awkward, but you also seek her permission to make sure she's comfortable with you sitting down next to her. My third tip is to actually acknowledge the unusualness or the strangeness of what you're doing. It's, it's, it, we are in the 2020s and it's perhaps not that usual anymore for people to meet one another on public transport. Interestingly enough, my grandmother actually met, not my grandfather, but somebody else who was very significant to her romantically on the tube. And I think perhaps back in the day, it was a bit more normal for people to interact with one another, but now not so much. And you don't wanna be giving off the vibe that you're just hanging around public transport, hitting on women. That's not a very flattering presentation of you. So by saying something like, you know what, like it's so unusual, isn't it, to have a chat with someone who you don't know, like in, tw in, the tw in 2020, but I saw you smiling and I thought, oh, I have to go over and talk to her. By saying something like this, you're clearly communicating I'm not doing this every day, or this is a surprise to me too. And you're demonstrating that social intelligence, which is going to help her to feel much more comfortable. Tip four. Now this tip is actually very similar to one that I gave in another video recently, which was called how to approach women at the supermarket slash grocery store uh, for the Americans out there. And that's about giving a bit of backstory. So by giving a backstory, I mean, when you meet someone, particularly in a public space, when it's not a bar, it's not a dating app, they don't have any information about you yet. So at the beginning of the interaction, we really want to build trust and get you more comfortable with offering information about yourself. So she can really clearly understand what you're about. Now, this could be really simple, but instead of, for instance, asking her, so where are you going today? 
which might make her think, oh God, is he going to follow me home? <laughs> Instead, you want to pro offer that information for yourself. So you could say, I don't know about you, but I've actually got to go all the way to the end of the line today because I've got a meeting over in X. Suddenly, by the fact you're being transparent and open, she's not only getting a bit of backstory and a bit of insight into your life, which is helping her to trust you, but then she'll also feel more comfortable sharing the reciprocal level of information with you. My tip five is, of course, if she is at any time showing any signals of being uncomfortable, which could be turning away, putting her bag on her lap, putting her headphones in, getting her phone out, not smiling, not offering you her name, being disengaged, just get out of there. We don't need to make anyone feel uncomfortable. And also for you, it's great if you're in this space in your life where you're really open to meeting people, if you are creating opportunities for yourself to romantically connect with women, that's awesome. However, to make this successful, you ultimately need to be doing this with women who are in the same space in their life, who are socially comfortable, confident and open enough to be looking out for the same things as you. If for whatever reason, she's not giving you those indications, it's the best thing to do is just say, anyway, have a really good day, be positive, leave on a high, but respect her personal space. Now, if you'd like more tips on how you could ethically and respectfully approach women in a modern way, I'd highly recommend you head over to hayleyquinn.com forward slash unite or maybe check out some of the other videos on my channel.